All right, good morning. Uh, anyway, today is technically uh, Saturday morning, but this is going to be Thursday tool review. This tool I do use a lot. Meow. It's a little cat. Anyway, this tool I do use a lot. Um, and I got to say thanks to my kid for purchasing it for me. And you guys might know what I'm talking about. It is this welder here so this is a multi-process welder everlast igbt inverter technology um i don't know what i gays bisexuals transvestites i don't know what i stands for um identify i guess identify gays bis transsexuals Sorry if that offends anybody, but <clears throat> anytime I see it. Anyway, it's the Everlast Super Ultra 206 SI. 206 SI. So it is a TIG, a plasma, and stick. <clears throat> so that's the model number. So you got gas or air here. You got the torch, which is the, you know either the TIG or the plasma which is here um, I am using the foot pedal now <clears throat> excuse me uh, the foot pedal uh, way way better definitely use a foot pedal get rid of the button um, it comes with the button on the uh, torch on the torch handle whatever you want to call it um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it comes with a stick, a little stick uh, stinger, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a welding and whatever, brushing on all that junk. Um, it comes with the plasma, it comes with a bunch of different uh, consumables for the plasma and the TIG. Um, I think it came with one or two tungstens for the TIG, I can't remember, it might have just been one. Um, but a guy at work gave me who was in welding school before he came to the railroad he had a bunch of these uh, redhead TIG rods which is what I'm using right now and they're awesome um, but yeah basically it comes with extra consumables this is the <clears throat> this is what he gave me um, the guy at work so but yeah and then it comes with some other stuff um, and I bought a tungsten from Air Gas, and I don't like the way it is. I like the, I think those are called redheads. Is what he called them. Um, anyway, so and uh, yeah, it that's how it came. It came with this uh, pressure regulator um, here. It's a little argon pressure regulator. Argon it says I don't know if you can see it. Argon. 50 psi g carbon dioxide 50 psi g i don't know if that's because they call it different things different countries but this is a full tank of argon i believe that's a four foot tank um i can't i can't remember the size i think it's like 125 cubic feet and this one's 300 or something cubic feet <clears throat> i can't remember how they Word it, but this is a five foot tank, and this is a probably a three foot tank. Then it's probably not the four foot, but it's definitely not the smallest. They do have a smaller one, so it basically goes, yeah, I don't know, maybe it is four feet. No, it's gotta be three. Anyway, I think it was like two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, and uh, yeah, I got this tank for five hundred or for a hundred dollars. Um, full, completely full, but anyway, it comes with, it does come with the foot pedal, ground strap, grounding, whatever, um, the torch, definitely a, uh, a must, I would, I would recommend it for any hobbyist, uh, it does 200 amps for TIG, um, for stick, I don't remember. I think it's like 160 amps for stick. So, let's fire it up. Let's see. 
seawater dews, turtle dews, whatever one in Glenn says. So this is TIG, 200 amps, TIG. Let's go to stick, is 160, it's maxed. So I guess we'll do from 5 to 160. So TIG from 5 to 200. Cut is 50 amps. So 20 amps to 50 amps. <clears throat> um, anyway, and you got the panel. The panel, which is the button. And then you got the pedal, which is what I'm using. Um, shows it's on. Shows if it's ever temperature, if it's overheated. I was welding, TIG welding. I was doing like, I don't know, a 12 inch TIG run at 200 amps. Um, you know, pulsing the pedal. And uh, I, didn't have a, I didn't have an issue. It never shut off on me. It never did anything. So... Pretty nice. It's got a little handle. It does come with the uh, uh, this thing here, which is 220 to 110 or 120, 240, however you want to call it. Um, but yeah, definitely a uh, a recommendation. I strongly recommend it for hobbyists, um, for people that want to do plasma cutting, stick and TIG, uh, multi-purpose. I do have my MIG down here, which I use a lot. It is a Hobart Handler 175. 175 is the amps. So um, it is gas, and but I, I'm running flux core in here because I weld a lot outside and it's a lot, always windy. So anyway, definitely uh, thank you to the kid. Uh, he don't have a YouTube channel, or he did have a YouTube channel. I don't know what he does. Anyway. Um, thanks for the kid. Thanks for the Everlast. Uh, multi-purpose Super Ultra 206 Si. Alright guys, that's going to be the uh, tool review for Thursday. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have one or there is a couple other models that are better. Um, yeah. There are obviously there's better ones out there, but um, and I can't remember what he got it for six hundred something bucks. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Check out my boy Glenn One and Glenn. I don't know where I put it. Just check him out. One and Glenn. All right, guys, later.